What's up, everybody? We're in Minneapolis. Next stop, Rapid City. Next stop. Should be there by when? 9 30, roughly? 9 45 or so. Anyway. Hunting turkeys. Y'all stick with us. essential camping gears that we couldn't get on the plane uh, and then just uh, go out to a couple spots we had pinned from cyber scouting check it out uh, maybe set up a camp uh, scout a little bit this evening get settled in see if we can get one to gobble this evening or make a game plan just go from there it's beautiful weather about 65 degrees shoot i'm ready to chase some Mary. what about you coach oh, I can't wait. we met some great people on the plane uh probably gonna do some networking around montana and wyoming if we're able to kill pretty quick in south dakota so it should be a great seven days action-packed full of hunts so you guys stick with us and see if we can get a few birds It was definitely much nicer flying. This is our first experience flying. Uh, we did this and like we left at what, 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. this morning, and we're here at uh, 10. 10. 10. So at the next stop we pretty much paid for our time. It sucks that you know you got to pay that much money to fly and stuff. But essentially, when you got these uh, a short amount of window, but the time that we have, you got to do what you can to get some of your time back. So that's what we chose to do. Hopefully, yeah. it works out. We're going to yeah. pretty yeah. much get it. It feels so much better with decision. Yeah, can you? Yeah, we're already here. We'd just be breaking into the drive right now. And the flying with the first time, you know, bringing a firearm on, that was a great experience, easy experience. Super smooth. It's kind of a little, you know, paranoid about that, worried, I guess, but everything went smooth uh, with Delta. So if you guys are, I know Delta's a little bit more expensive, but if you guys are looking to fly on a hunt trip, I can recommend Delta. We didn't have any hiccups. Everything, everything went good. We're gonna go and go try to find a place to pop a tent up. to the black hills had to jump out the truck stretch our legs a little bit we had a roughly an hour drive from rapid city but we're here and it is absolutely beautiful it's my first time actually really seeing mountains and man we drove through some some awesome stuff but again stretch our legs and uh the plan for this evening um it's about two o'clock right now we're gonna drive around and try and locate some turkeys put some eyes on some and if we can't do that then we'll find a high spot and uh maybe hit a coyote cow call late like this evening so that's the game plan hopefully we'll execute it and be on some turkeys in the morning all right guys so we're just driving down the road Got to a little spot in the road right here, a call from it, and a turkey gobbled probably 150 yards from us right out front of me. So I was getting all our stuff on and trying to make a mad dash and maybe maybe we can kill one on day one, man. Yeah. 
it's good. Back to the old school days without our legs, huh? So after me and Cody had sat there for a while, um, the turkey never gobbled again. We called to him a few more times and he didn't gobble. So uh, we sat there for about 30 minutes and we decided to pull back out of there and head back down the mountain road. Uh, so we get in our truck, head back down the mountain road and as we drop off the bluff there, there's a turkey walking down the fence road. And this is but it was like an eighth of a mile from where we initially set up. So what we think uh, is the same bird is done come off the mountain and is walking down the fence row. Uh, so we make a mad dash and get in front of him, uh, and there's a lot of action coming you guys' way, so stick with us. So we made our way to what we thought was in front of this turkey and set up in a small patch of uh, pines as you guys are seeing here. And we sat there for about 30 minutes or so and the turkey gobbled. Uh, and right now we're walking towards a ditch. There's a little bit dry ditch right there on the other side. Um, is a little small knoll and um, what we come to find out was a road and that's where the turkey was gobbling from. He had followed the fence down and uh, had made his way over there right in front of us. So we make a move and get in tight to this to this bird. Okay, at this point, we had done call to the turkey enough to where we knew where he was, and we knew in the, at the position we were in, uh, when he got to where he could see us or where we were calling from, he wasn't going to be in killing range. So we ultimately made the, the split uh, second decision 
to make a, a quick move on this bird to try to close some distance because where we were set up uh, and where he come out as you guys will see we would not have been able to kill him if we did not make this move so ultimately it worked out um, and you guys will see how, how this come to come to an end here At this point, we're in killing distance of the turkeys. We just can't see them because they're over that knoll. And <clears throat> when we ran up this hill, it, it, both of us were completely out of breath. So you guys will notice this heavy breathing in the in the video. We're both excited and both just ran probably half a mile. So, uh, but some stuff's coming your way, guys. So stay tuned. Go get him, go get him, yes, sir. <laughs> go get him, Mike. <laughs> Give me some on that, baby. Yeah, yeah. first. We just got off a plane at like 10.30 this morning. <sighs> That, that's the way to start a trip, huh? First day, first freaking day, man. That is freaking awesome. And I don't even think this is the turkey. It could be the turkey that we saw from Gravel Road. But there was what, two, three of them gobbling in here? That's what it sounded like to me, dude. Oh, man. I probably got it. What a turkey hunt. What a freaking turkey hunt. No service. I don't call summer and be like, ah. <sighs> Incredible experience. Makes up for all the mishaps that I've had. All right, guys, so we come through this road, new territory. This is where we originally pinned, but we had checked some other spots out. We got over here and uh, got up on the top of this big, huge ridge over here. And, called and one gobbled couldn't really quite pinpoint him he shut up so we just said me and Kobe are going to check some other property out we come down this gravel road and this gobbler i'm pretty sure it's this one was by itself he didn't act spooked at all we drove within you'll see you guys see in the video we drove within 60 yards of him he never been he didn't even act spooked so that told me he probably hadn't been pressured and we're out in the middle of nowhere anyway so our plan was to go on down further and he was walking the line so we figured we'd cut him off so we did that got set up didn't see him and then he gobbled on his own over here about 150 200 yards from where we expected him to be walking made a move he cody got him fired up with the call 
and I ain't got my turkey vest on as you see this is how quick this happened and uh, got him fired up decided to make another decisive move and we weren't sure if he was going to come over with his knoll or not and we were kind of down that away and uh, we got made a quick move as you guys see and got up on this knoll turkey come down this road when he got to this fence he cut the edge I seen him right here felt like a little far for me so I didn't take it but then he stepped out and gave me an opportunity I knew he was about to leave so I shot I'm gonna step it off I think it's about 55 yards it's wide open though and uh that's all she wrote but we literally got off the plane at 10 30 this morning and it is six o'clock five o'clock 506 my time's messed up because we went back an hour but 506 first day here got off the plane today and got it done on public land in south dakota so you guys get out and do this stuff man anybody can do it this goes to show you anybody can do this we're camping um but yep yeah, we're gonna have a good time still got to get cody one eric's on the way he should be here tomorrow we got at least two more birds to kill so y'all stick with us we got a lot more entertaining stuff for y'all Alright everybody, that's gonna do it for this one. Old killer's back on the board. Finally after, after the little mishap. We walking up out of here. This one this one made up for all of it though. It was literally awesome. Why wow, man? Couldn't ask for any better of a turkey hunt. Definitely uh one of my top turkey hunts of all time, just because of the way it played out, you know. And all the excitement and rush that went into it. Just it, it just Can't ask for anything better. I'm getting slapped in the face by sticks and limbs, but hey, who cares? Oh, I'm gonna get up to the truck. Probably go try and roost me a bird for tomorrow and set up camp. Hopefully we can do it again tomorrow. Then it's on to Wyoming. See you guys on the next one. Like, subscribe, let us know what you think about the videos. We'll see y'all in the morning.